And so here we are, finally at Good Neighbor. Memory pod that's plugged into... Nothing. There's your screen you'll be staring at. Relive your greatest dreams. Or if you prefer, your worst nightmares. Well, well, well. It's the detective. Tracking down another wayward husband to his mistress. No, oh, Ernest Hancock. Someone stand you up? You trying that, uh, what do you call it? Evasive language on me? And who are you, huh? Valentine's new dick in training? What's it to you? Gotta know who's back and who in good neighbor. I ain't never seen you before. Maybe you're in the market for a little insurance? Insurance? That's right. Insurance. Personal protection, like. You hand over everything you got in their pockets, or accidents start happening to you. Big, bloody accidents. Wish I don't have anything that you, you can have. Nick Valentine makes a rare visit to town, and you're hassling his friend here with that extortion crap? Good to see you again, Nick. Hancock? What do you care? He ain't one of us. No love for your mayor, Finn? I said let him go. You soft, Hancock. You keep letting outsiders walk all over us. One day, you'll be a new man. Come on, man. This is me we're talking about. I wouldn't get let that. Tell you something. But I'd get that close to you. Oh, why'd you have to go and say that, huh? Breaking my heart over here. You all right, brother? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. fine. Thanks for taking care of him. Good. Now, don't let this incident taint your view of our little community. Good neighbors of the people, for the people. You feel me? Everyone's welcome. Yeah. Yeah. I feel you. Good. I feel you. You stay cool, and you'll be part of the neighborhood. So long as you remember who's in charge. And that is you. Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Don't mind me, I'm just walking around with a fat man launcher. I'll deposit it somewhere else. Okay, can I fit it in there? It looks like I can. I'll steal it later. Got some work hey, here hey. I can do. And behold the memory den. Mr. Valentine, I thought you had forgotten about the. Can anyone picture those two together? I may have walked out of the den, Irma, but I'd never walk out on you. Hmm. Amari's downstairs, you big flirt. And another question there. Here for Amari? She's downstairs. Amari. Dr. Amari? Yes. Doctor. Amari. I take it this isn't a social call. This one's all yours, Nick. We need a memory dig, Amari, but it's not going to be easy. The perp, Kellogg, is already cold on the floor. Are you too mad? 
Leaving aside the fact that you're asking me to defile a corpse, you don't realize that the memory simulators require intact, living brains to function. Isn't there some way to make this work? This dead brain had inside knowledge of the Institute, Amari. The biggest scientific secret of the Commonwealth. You need this, and so do we. Fine. I'll take a look. But no guarantees. Do you have it with you? How much of the brain, brain do, you, do need? you need exactly? That is not an encouraging question. I suppose I'll have to make do with whatever you can find. Here's you what I could find. What's this? This isn't a brain. This is... Wait. That's the hippocampus. And this thing attached to it? A neural interface? Ah, those circuits look awfully familiar. I'm not surprised. From what I've seen, all Institute technology has a similar architecture. Go on, Doctor. Mr. Valentine is an older generation synth. But Institute technology being what it is, the brain implant could fit him. But that's an incredible I think it'll work. risk to take. We're talking about wiring something to his brain. Don't worry about me, Amari. I'm well past the warranty date anyway. Clearly. You really think this will work, Nick? No idea. But we got a missing kid on the line. That's worth the risk. Whenever you're ready, Mr. Valentine, just sit down. If I start cackling like an old grizzled mercenary, pull me out, okay? Let's see here. I need you to keep me have a seat, me, Mr. Valentine. Fine. Any slight change in your cognitive functions could be dire. Are you feeling any different? There's a lot of flashes. Static. I, I, I can't make sense of any of it, Doc. That's what I was afraid of. The mnemonic impressions are encoded. It appears the Institute has one last failsafe. There's a lock on the memories in the implant. Is Nick gonna be okay? Yes, the connections appear to be stable. Hopefully, it'll be as simple as unplugging the implant once we're done. But that doesn't get around the current problem. The memory encryption is too strong for a single mind. But what if we used to reload both you and Mr. Valentine into the memory loungers? Run your cognitive functions in parallel. He'll act as a host, while your consciousness drives through whatever memories we can find. But are we back on one mind again? All right. Let's get started. Just sit down over there and keep your fingers crossed. See you on the other side. Here we go. Initiating brainwave migration between the transplant and the host. Mnemonic activity coming from the transplant. It's degenerated, but it's there. We're going to load you into the strongest memories we can find. They might not be stable. Just hold on. Can you hear me? Ah, good. The simulation appears to be working, although the memories are quite fragmentary. I'll try to step you through the intact memories and hope we find one that gives us some clue to the Institute's location. There. This is the earliest intact memory I can find. This doesn't seem to be what we're looking for. 
there appears to be another intact memory close to you in temporal sequence. There. Mm. What? Joke. Try that one. What's it mean, Mom? Nothing, Connie. People like to talk and hope someone else is going to keep them sane. The teacher at school said the NCR would bring back the good old days, like before the big war. Don't you listen to that twatter. I'm going to stop. It's a new era. That's what I'm going to teach you. It's going to be fine. You'll see. But we don't know anybody here. And now, with the baby? Come on, Sarah. You've got to give it a chance. The father got steady work with a good outfit. Nothing like that in the NCR these days. No, I, I'm not saying this was a mistake. I, I'm just... Are you sure these guys know what they're doing? They seem kind of green. I know. But that's where I come in. Even if you know exactly what you're doing. Just wait. In a few years, it can still go bad. As soon as I make the connections I need. Then I can give you anything you want. And little Mary, too. I never worried about you before. Must be my mama instincts kicking in. <laughs> Who knew I had those, huh? Come on, you're great with her. And you don't need to worry about me. Most of it's just running security for the she. A lot of standing around looking tough. Well, they sure picked the right yeah. person for that job. Listen, it's gonna be great here. See this? This is what's gonna keep you and Mary safe. I have Promise. that now. I know, Connie. I'm sure we're gonna be really happy here. We are. You'll see. That's okay. Let's keep looking. I'll connect you to the next intact memory. Hmm. Maybe this one. How did you think this was going to end, Kellogg? <laughs> you thought you could just fuck Still with us and we wouldn't fuck with you? Just so you know, they died like dogs. And you weren't there to help them. I found another memory to try. I'll connect you. They were hunted down like dogs, I'm sure. Mind if we sit down? Suit yourself. This one's not really important. So, um, I hear you take care of people's his first problems. scar. Is that right? If you pay me, oh, we'll pay you. And uh, you'll do this all by yourself? That's right. I didn't care where I was going. Ended up mostly wandering east. Getting as far away from San Francisco as I could, maybe. Hey, you still care that San Francisco smokes the whiskey? Done. Is that okay? That's the way you want to do it? Peace of the city. So who do you want dead? Well, it's like this. There's his family. Lives down the creek away. Well, we seem to be getting closer. Try this next one. This next one's a good one. Mr. Kellogg, I'm glad you decided to meet with me. So, you're with the Institute. I wanted to see for myself if you really existed. We do, as you can see. What do you want? It's come to my attention that you've been rather disruptive of our operations lately. This must stop. I do what people pay me to do. Armor. If that's a problem for you, I can see only one way out. Chest. And what's that, Mr. Kellogg? Nothing on the other. If I'm working for you, there's no more problem. 
From what I hear, you could afford me. I don't think you fully understand the Real situation scar. you're in. And a fresh one. I think I do. Very well. B748, initiate. Systems offline. Hmm. Impressive. We may have something to talk about after all. Getting warmer. One of these has got to tell us something. We are running out of brain here. Ah. ah, there's one that looks mostly intact. Connecting now. Hopefully it's good. It is. Manual override initiated. Cryogenic stasis suspended. I found another intact memory. All computers are still Whenever working. you're ready. That's good. Checking through the here we are at the beginning Hopefully it's all Just game. Find it. Pod C6, down the hall near the end. We all know how this played out. Is that your son? This appears to be a very recent memory. So, good news, I think. Minimizing my exposure to civilians is a priority. Forget I said anything. So what's the big crisis this time? New orders for you. One of our scientists has left the Institute. Left? As in? He's gone longer. rogue. The Institute. Name's Dr. Brian Virgil. We know he's hiding somewhere. And that's his file. Probably top right music. So the wow. point is, we need to get. Some heads are gonna roll for this. Capture and return, or just elimination. Elimination. He was working on a highly classified program. No kidding. One of the top bioscience boys. Damn. Can't sit. So, I guess you're taking the kid back with you. Affirmative. Your only mission is to locate. If anything like this had ever happened before, I've never heard of it. Maybe a sign that the old man was losing his grip. Finding oh, someone in the glowing sea wasn't going to be any picnic. But I never expected an institute egghead to give me so much trouble. Eliminate Virgil. You're taking me home to my father? Yes. Stand next to me and hold still. Okay. X688. Ready to relay with Sean. Bye, Mr. Kellogg. I hope I see you again soon. Bye, they go. Teleportation. Now it all makes sense. Nobody's found the entrance to the institute. There's no, because there is no easily entrance. accessed entrance. Let me pull you out of there as soon as you're ready. Side effects the procedure might have had. No one has ever done this. And I can't that radio. Where is that radio? That's something to worry about it now. Dr. Amari. Let's start over. How are you feeling? Feeling. 
Fine. I'm okay, doctor. Thank you. That's good. But I want you to keep monitoring yourself. We have to be sure there's no long-term damage. Are you ready to talk about what happened in there? There's more than one person who knows about the Institute. V Virgil, th that scientist who escaped. I didn't know Institute scientists could defect. This changes everything. He could answer all sorts of questions. Where did the memory say he was? The glowing sea? That can't be right. No one would risk going there, not even to hide. It's perfect hiding spot. That's why he's there. To make the Institute think twice about following him. That must be it. He's using the radiation and the glowing sea like a shield or a cloak, a way to throw them off and be at an advantage. If Virgil found a way to survive there, you'll have to do the same. If you're going to follow him. How do I fight that much radiation, Doctor? There are chemical compounds. Radax, Radaway. You'd need as much as you could carry. Maybe more. A sealed environment suit would be great if you could find one. Or maybe one of those suits of power armor. That would or be maybe Rad X right away and suit of power armor. I'll find a way to get through the rads. Don't worry. Good luck and be safe. By the way, I unplugged Mr. Valentine first. Remove the implant while you were waking up. He's waiting for you upstairs. see what we will attend to shortly but we'll take care of that next episode possibly